hello everyone it's Kesha I'm coming to you again today with another video and this video will be about the styling products that I use in my 4C natural hair the first set of products that I'm going to start off with are very popular here on YouTube and these are the eco style gel I have this one the argan oil eco style gel I have this one which is the for curl the one for curly and wavy hair this one I also have the olive oil when I recently bought this one but this one was my favorite as you can see this one is almost finished I like I like these styling gels they really help to slick down my edges if I'm doing like a puff or other styles um, as for this one it does not have as much hold as this one or this one but I still like this one All right, next set of products that we'll be talking about are curl creams or curling gels alright the first one that I tried is motions naturally you alright and it smells really nice it looks like this as you can see I've not used much of it because I do not like when my hair has that heavy feeling and this product is very heavy on your hair but I've used it on a rod set before and it turned out okay but it needs it probably needed some more moisture that's all I would have done different if I was to use this again for another rod set next one that I tried is this one it is a beautiful textures curl defining custard I bought this without smelling it I do not like the scent of this it smells like orange rind so I don't like the scent of it and I've only used a small amount of it or I only use it if I'm out of everything else and this is the, my only option I don't like the scent at all and the scent lingers all day so I don't like the scent of this one but it's okay as a styler and as you know curl creams only define your natural curl pattern so if you don't have a naturally curly or loose curl hair don't expect that these products will give you that and my favorite 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 curl cream is this one right here which is the kinky curly curling custard I tried this when I just uh, when I did my big chop and I liked it I introduced it to my mother and she's still using it and she still likes it all right the other product I love for a uh, curl cream I don't have it here stay moisture curl enhancing souffle I love that one because it gives moisture the shine and the curl so I can use that one and wake up the next morning on my state my hair still look I still can wear my hair without reapplying it all right the next thing that we're going to move on to is moisturizers are right, my favorite moisturizer is this one this is the shea moisture curl enhancing smooth and it's very popular here oh my god I love the scent and trust me I've had this for a while and I've been using it every time I wash my hair it's a small amount and I am I still have it and I still have a whole lot I still I actually have a new jar in the bathroom but this is the one that I'm using right now the other moisturizer that I use is it is by African Pride I use this like midweek or so on because I prefer when my hair is just washed to put this one in it but when my hair is almost dirty or when it's almost wash day I will use this one because it gives a shine it has a nice scent and you know it really helps my hair to keep moisturized the next thing that I use sometimes that I try is this um, it's an oil moisturizer and it is by Roots of Nature by Soft Sheen Carson I have this sample and I had another sample but I used some of it I'm really not fond of the scent it smells like lotion it smells like lotion so I really am it doesn't have a nice scent but you know can be used all right the next product that I use is this one and because I bought this and I really liked it that's why I bought this this is the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curl Pudding and this is my first and only curl pudding and I use this when I'm doing one of those I can't cornrow for myself so somebody will have to cornrow it for me but whenever somebody's cornering my hair I let them put this in 
and then the corn right so when i pull it out it, it gets a nice definition i also put this in my hair when i am doing a rod set the next product that i have been really loving is this right here this is the Cantu shea butter for natural hair coconut milk hold and shine mist the scent of this is totally awesome i love this and it really hydrates my curls so when i use this like on monday morning i use this on monday morning on tuesday i don't have to reuse this what i do is just, i just spray my hair with this and i just use my fingers to just pull it out you know to just revive my hair and this does an awesome job at that the next product that i also like to use sometimes when i wash my hair or if i'm doing any style that i'm going to um curl it like rod setting or so on i use this this is a des design essential natural curl enhancing mousse so this is the mousse right here and it is it does not have a strong hold like the regular mousse that you that i normally have but you know it does an okay job and i don't like when my hair is crunchy and this is good for that this does not leave my hair crunchy at all and sometimes i like to use this in my hair this is aloe vera gel that's all it is just put a little bit of this um, in my hair I also use this on my face I find that it gives my face a really nice moisturized feeling without being heavy or without being greasy so this is also a nice product next styling product that I recently bought that I'm liking is this this is the design essential edge control um, to me I don't think that there's any edge control that will hold down these 4c edges slick and straight it, no i won't get that or maybe i'll get it when i just put it on it and then by the time i walk out the road i'll not pay again but i don't mind because i'm not for laid edges as you can see my hair is not tall enough to be in a ponytail that's the only time i'll be concerned with laid edges when i'm wearing a ponytail and i can't do that just yet but this does an okay job and um, sometimes I put this on and then I put this over it. This is the Morris Australian beeswax. Sometimes I put this over it. Or this can also be used like if you're doing like a, to call it a flat twist out or a twist out or a kick corn roll out. For some reason when I twist my hair, it is not staying. It will twist but it just unravels by itself so it's not staying so it would have to be like a corn roll out for me or a flat twist out and i have to put rubber bands or so at the end to hold it until i'm ready to pull it out because it will not stay the next thing that i use in my hair it is um somewhat a moisturizer um but it's more of a butter it is 100 west african shea butter and it is all natural and i got this from beautiful earth um so yes it is a jamaican product i got this hair at beautiful earth and beautiful earth is a place where i did my big chop so if it's the next two products that i'm going to talk about i did not expect them to turn out the way they did that they did and the first one is the carefree curl it's instant activator and normally people use this in jerry curl or that kind of hair but i find that it really you know on days when you forget to put on your satin cap and go to your bed this right here is a good product to just rub in it and revive it and get it moisturized and detangled and the same thing for this the only thing with this product is that I'm not too fond of the scent when you use this product everybody knows that this is the product that you are using trust me and the scent will your hair will have the scent for days and I can stay all the way out there and smell this in your hair that's the only thing not that the scent is a nothing has a bad scent I just personally do not like the scent and now on to everybody's favorite um, natural product the oils so I'm not an oil an oil junkie so the first oil that I'll be talking about is this one which is the do grow anti itch oil and trust me when I say this oil right here i really like it. it was relaxed i liked it and now that i am natural i still like it my hair really loves this and in recent times my scalp has been really itchy i've been itchy itchy and i don't know why but when i put this on it it really helps to soothe my scalp and also if i'm wearing weaves or braids and i put this in my hair 
when I take down the weave or I take down the braid, you know that funky scent that you normally have when you take off your weave? No. This is what you'll smell in your hair if you put it on under your weave or in your braids. The other oils that I use are these ones. These are the Via Naturals. This is the Ahoba oil and this one is the avocado oil. And because these are not um, 100% natural oils they don't uh, penetrate the hair as fast as the natural oils so sometimes they tend to sit on it but they do provide a nice sheen so for a styling product if you if you do something to your hair and it is not a shine put these in it and trust me you'll have the shine all right the next uh, oil that I really like is this it is the Jamaican black castor oil and everybody knows castor oil stink it does not smell so nice so I would not recommend using this and going on the using this alone and going on the road but it is a really good oil especially for the persons who have thin edges or so on put this in your hair and trust me you'll get back those edges the next oil that I use and I use this very often is um, virgin olive oil I had coconut oil but I don't have it anymore so olive oil and coconut oil are my two favorite oils another oil that I use whenever I'm styling is this right here this is the every strand argan oil polish polisher with macadamia this is it all right I also use this when I'm wearing false hair like weaves and so on because it is not heavy and it provides a nice sheen so I use this whenever I want that kind of feeling all right so that's all the products that I have for now and the products that I have been using and some of them I've been really liking and and even repurchasing if you'd like me to do other natural hair videos um, comment below and let me know don't forget to like my Facebook page and to follow me on Instagram and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to invite over some of your friends of course invite them thank you for watching